What's up everyone, thanks for stopping by, I hope you're having a good day. I am Josh from Voltage Union and we find ourselves here at a unfamiliar territory. If you guys watch my videos, we don't come here, I don't think we've been here yet. This is Bonnie Springs. And uh, we're going to take a look at a couple weapon mods today. The first one is why we are here. That is a Spaz-12, which is a, I believe a French semi-automatic shotgun. I don't know where to find it. I, I'm reading in the description that it has somewhere to do with um, being inside of a oh, shit. Like no chance. Oh, and I hit it too. Damn. Wow. 8% chance I hit it three times in a row. Something to do with some sort of a lock pick or something. I'm in my freaking underwear. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can find where it is. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, it looks like that's it. Ten body pins, locksmith's reader. There we go. Twelve gauge round. So, found the gun. Spaz fifteen. I thought I said spaz twelve by accident. Value 4,500, gun skill 75, 11.7 .7 times 7 damage, damage per second, 336. So let's whip this baby out, and this is it. So, we're going to go ahead and find somewhere to go. Because the shitty thing is that this game put me in a spot where there's nobody really around. So, I like going to places where we can just kind of take out a bunch of innocent people. As you can tell by my previous videos. So, we're going to go ahead and head to Novak for a change. And, uh... Let's see here. Uh -huh. Oh, damn, that's strong. Oh, dude. Okay, let's see how fast we can fire this bitch. Damn. I thought the spots had bigger... Whoa, fuck. Sorry, sorry, it was an accident. I always thought the Spaz had a lot more, uh, like a larger magazine size. Uh, you're dead. Dead, boy. So that's the Spaz. Um, we're going to try something here that was recommended to me and actually seemed like a pretty good idea. First of all, let's go... TFC and uh, take a look at the gun this way. Gun looks awesome. Um, as you guys know, many of you guys have caught on to the fact that the guns have fit in with the style of the game. It's not the highest quality texture. The model's pretty nice, uh, but it is rusty looking, and honestly, it looks like shit in the best way possible. Um, I mean, not in the best way. It. Uh, it fits in well with the environment. So let's, um, I got the All-American I just used. So let's take a quick look. So you can see like the the grip there is, yeah, it's not bad. Let's see nice scratches on the, the body and stuff. Looks nice. So that's gonna do it for this gun. Uh, we got one more gun to take a look at. And of course we have the second question of the day. So let's get started. Okay guys, we find ourselves here at Good Springs for our last mod. This is from Millennia. He does uh, a lot of my favorite mods for New Vegas for the guns. And this is the Gyrojet. Gyrojet. I'm not really sure what it is. Don't know anything about it. I think it's a fictional gun. I don't know. You're going to head into Doc Mitchell's kitchen. And, oh, it's on the fridge. I thought it was in the fridge. MBA Gyrojet. I'm going to say Gyrojet, but I don't know. Um, so we're going to go ahead, as always, we're going to head outside and see what this gun has to offer us. So this gun has a gun skill of 50, value 368, uses 10 millimeter ammo, damage 18, damage per second 82. So it's probably semi-automatic, you're looking at four rounds a second or so. Obviously a very high quality mod, as always we get from Millennia. Um, looks really cool, looks really rusty and beat up. 
Okay, so that's the gun. Um, new mega. Uh, that reload is awesome. Look at the end. Yeah, it loads in from the top, just like. Quit it. Nice. One person, and then it has a big effect. There is no perks to it. Um, where are you shooting at me from? Oh. Oh, sorry, man. I just killed your pet. Man. Oh, man. Anyone else want to die by my hands? So the gun looks awesome. As always, uh, this guy predicts, or this guy, I could have predicted this because this guy makes some, always makes high quality mods and very rusty, very, uh, very beat up, very, you know, very authentic to the style of the game. Um, let's see if we can take out this guy from distance. None of those hit him? You're dead, bitch. Yeah, motherfucker. Alright, guys, that's gonna do it for this gun. Uh, very cool gun, of course. I believe it looks like it might be a real gun. I don't know. The sound's really cool. It's obviously custom sound. This guy always does custom sounds, custom textures, cu custom meshes. Everything is custom. So download it via the description below. We are going to do our second question of the day. So if you want to know the first one, go and check out my last video. Question of the day for today comes from Zombie Triple X Slayer 2011 or Slayer. Uh, what gave you the inspiration for your name? And actually, I. I may have talked about this before. Uh, I actually meant to name the channel Vault Hunters Un or Vault Dwellers Union to fit more in the Fallout universe, but I, uh, I, uh, and actually the email for the channel is Vault Hunters Unite or uh, Vault Dwellers at gmail.com. I'm not. That's not the actual email, but it does have Vault Dwellers in it. Um, and, uh, but then when I was typing the channel name, for some reason, I, because I was thinking of Vault names, and I had narrowed it down to Vault Dwellers Union and Vault Hunters Union, but when I created the channel, I made the email Vault Dwellers blank at, uh, at Gmail, but then when I created the channel, and it asked me to put the channel's name, I put Vault Hunters Union, because I'm an idiot. Vault Hunters actually suits more in the Borderlands universe, um, so obviously that's not going to work. So that's how I came up with the channel name. So hope that answered your question. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, as always, leave a like rating below and please subscribe if you are new to the channel. Other than that, I don't have a whole lot more to say. And uh, hopefully I can get you some mods in the next few days. The this, the the Nexus site is having some some uh, um, some unscheduled rotated uh, outages. So um, basically rolling blackouts over the next last few days so there hasn't been a lot uploaded but hopefully i can get some content to you guys soon other than that i don't have a whole lot more to say so i hope you guys have a good day peace out